Let's change some oil. First thing you do, take out the oil cap. Okay, this way the oil can drain out and it's not causing a vacuum inside the motor. I don't know. Okay. I just put the oil cap right here. This way if you were to close the hood, you couldn't close the hood. You forgot to put the oil cap on. Believe me, don't forget. Alright, car's up. Next thing you do is trap the oil. Alright, the thing I like to do, so I've cracked it loose, then you can screw it out by hand. Alright, so I'm screwing it out, and right about when the threads catch, I'm still pushing it into the motor, and I'm ready for it to pop, pull it out, bomb. Notice I put the drain plug a little bit to the left, because I know it's going to come out in an angle, and I got the drain plug in my hand. Some cars you have to change the gasket, other ones you can just get away with, uh, with just putting it back in. So we're going to let it drain. It always uh, drains better when the oil's hot, so if you have gloves on and you don't have hot exhaust around, it's better to drain the oil when the oil's hot, you get a better drain, cleans the otherwise it's going to sort of slowly come out like a sludge. Got a new gasket on here. Just put it back up in here. Screw it in by hand as far as you can go. I like these uh, ratcheting wrenches. It's pretty cool. You just sort of... Right until it gets like snug, and then uh, just sort of want to sort of give it a little. <laughs> and that's good. You don't want to over tighten it. You know, you get your big rats on there. You'll be replacing an oil pan to strip the threads out in there. All right, let's change the oil filter. You can use this. There's a variety of different ones. Nissan's just. Uh... So what I did is I I cracked it loose with this. And have it unscrew it by hand. So I, I back it out and it's gonna start to drain. Depends which way your filter is, but I'm gonna drain it out like that. Just get sort of the hang of it, you know, it's it's always a dirty job. You wanna have more fun. Especially if the oil's hot, you don't want hot oil on your hands. Then the important thing, get a rag. Clean this mating surface. Got a new filter. Check my gasket. When you clean that mating surface too, you're also checking to make sure the, the old gasket is not stuck on the old filter. You want to make sure it's still on there. Screw the threads in, but always by hand. Just real nice. Spins in. Right. Take my rag. Give it a few turns. Perfect. All right. So uh, the thing I like to do about putting oil in the car, the capacity on this car is like 4.3 quarts with the filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four in. We're going to start the car. We're going to check the level, and then we're going to top it off so it's perfectly on the car. So like a plan. Get yourself a nice funnel. Let's load this baby up. Alright, I'm gonna stop right there. Let's try that for a second. Remember, you gotta put your oil cap on if you're gonna start the car, because it could splash. Gonna start the car, let it run for about 10 seconds. Shut it down. So that that let the oil cycle. It went through the new filter. Let's check the level. So what I did is I pulled the dipstick out, clean it with the rag, right? So it's clean. Then you put it back in and pull it out. And right now our level is at the bottom dot, so we're going to need to come up about another half a quart. So we're, we're on the right track here. So I'm just going to put this back in. Just keep it in there, take the oil cap back off. You never want to put too much oil. If you put too much oil in, you 
get oil in your intake. Try that. Yeah, you're, you're going up like a quarter of a quart at this point. And, and you know, I don't need to put the top on right now, so I'm just going to pull it back out, clean it, put it back in, and see where we are now. Alright, I'm right between the two cross hatches. You can't really see it, but we're right there. And that's perfect. Alright, put this back in. Make sure my old cap is back on. Clean up a little. I'm going to check the fluids, check the tire pressure, top off and wash the fluid, put a sticker in the window, this car's done. Let's do the next.